Today, I have this mini laser engraver to show you. As you know from past videos, I'm not a fan of small laser engravers because usually I don't think they are implemented in a safe way. But in the past year, there have been some improvements and I think I can show you this one with the understanding that it absolutely cannot be used without adult supervision. Worst you'll get from a 3D printer is a tiny burn, but laser dial can do permanent damage to your eyes, even with safety goggles. So it's really in a completely different class of risk. That said, I do like this little unit because it connects quickly to your phone and is perfect for crafters. Let me show you how it works. So you see the laser dial shoots directly to the metal plate. Okay, I have downloaded this app called Mini Laser Engraver. And I have my Bluetooth turned on. So first, I'm gonna do is to engrave on the papers. Because Chinese New Year is coming up, so I think I'm going to uh, write down the Chinese, uh, Chinese Happy Chinese New Year and engrave it and see how it does. So first I click whiteboard and there is the tag test, please add text section here. See, I can move the location, I can move it here. And then I'm gonna type in Chinese. You can drag it and move it down to the center. Next. Okay, I'm gonna connect it, connect with the mini laser engraver. And you can see the preview before it engraved on the paper. You can see it always goes to zero first. Okay, right now we are in the car carving configuration. We choose brown paper, material brown paper, and then save the settings. But uh, if you want, you don't need to set the origin. You can just move the arrows to set the origin. Like when, whenever the lo whenever you move it, it re remembers uh, the location and will start from that there. Okay, if I move the dock here and you preview, hit preview. And it shows you where it's gonna engrave. Okay, start engraving. It has a bar to show you the process. So start from 0%. When it goes to 100%, it will be finished. So this is what it looks like, fresh out from the laser engraver. Happy Chinese New Year! It's pretty good and we still have this chunk of space, we can write down more text here. I think it's good if you, do, <laughs> if you have bad handwriting, you can just put this in the gift box. Now let's see what else we got. We have different kinds of material, we will all of this come with the mini laser engraver and we can try all this out. We have metal, we have wood block, we have leather, and we have just plain wood. Plank, okay. Now, I think I'm gonna try the wood first.
All right, this is our minions. It's pretty good. And just a reminder for everyone, this video is sponsored by my friends at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn about, well, pretty much anything. I don't recommend anything I don't use myself. So during every Skillshare sponsor video, I like to go to their site, learn some new skill and incorporate that into whatever I'm doing that week. Last time, you saw me learn leather crafting to make a new harness for Momo, my husky. Today, I want to try baking something and see if I can customize the results with this mini laser engraver. I've decided on sugar cookies, and while I do like to bake, I've never baked sugar cookies before, so wanted to learn how, step by step from an expert. I'll link to the video I watched in the description box. I really like learning new stuff on Skillshare because like other video sites, it's optimized for learning, not for ad clicks or entertainment. So I can get right to the info I need without a long intro. It's about $10 a month and with all of us staying home a lot more, I think it's a great way to make use of that time and level up with some new skills. Okay, let me show you what I learned this week on Skillshare. Okay, I've got all the ingredients and utensils ready from the Skillshare video I've learned from. Uh, you normally in Chinese kitchens, you don't see an oven. It's a little unusual. I have it. And I've set it to uh, 35, degree, 35 Celsius degrees. This oven is great because it can do very low temperature and I forgot to let the butter and eggs out in room, to room temperature. But this one can do so low temperature that I put it in, it doesn't melt, it just, when you take it out, it just perfect, it's room temperature. So let's take it out now. Why first we are going to take like a three and a half cup of all-purpose flour. One cup in. Three cups, half of a cup. One cup of butter, but I put a purpose flour in the wrong bowl. I'm going to transfer this to a smaller bowl. All right, one cup of butter is 227 grams. So I'm going to measure it with the scale. Okay, about that. Okay, let's, let's use the mixer because it will be faster this way. Okay, we are going to put a half teaspoon of salt in the all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. And now I'm going to use my hand to mix it up a bit. Mm, it smells so good. Okay, I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator for an hour to chill, and then we'll get back to it. All right, I'm going to set the timer for an hour. All right, let's take out the dough from the refrigerator. I have this Rangshi cookie cutter, a Husky one, and I 3D print the open hardware logo one um, for the cookie cutter. It's super easy to 3D print it, and it's a popular thing to do. If you like, you can print any shape you want.
Look, I've got a Momo cookie. Okay, all set. Let's try to engrave this. Okay, we have our cookies. Now to test them out. If you'd like to try Skillshare yourself, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, looking a little dark, but it's a good start. Okay, as I said, I think crafters will get a lot out of this. It's a engraver, not cutter, so don't count on cutting anything. It's super easy to use, but should absolutely not be used by children without close adult supervision. It engraves by burning, so should be used outdoors, near a window, or in a very large well ventilated space like I have here. Laser engravers do catch fire. Work on a clear surface with a fire extinguisher nearby. That said, I love how easy this is to use and think it's a great way to get people more on the crafting side of things into digital fabrication. If your partner just loves their table saw and router but has no interest in your 3D printer, this is a low-cost way to show them all the things you can do once you add a computer to the mix. If you'd like to get one, I'll put the link in the description box. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.